Cause it's real flight, little homie, that's why I stay down I just came up off that boy, look what I made now Like Nike, I just do this, ain't a game now I can't turn down I chose the life I'm living Out here trapping, getting it Turn to work the bitches All I get so I try to get a job But I didn't get it So welcome back, this is day 24 of waiting on the Drysdale, top of the Yumbi track, we got home here last night, uh, it was late, I don't know what time it was, but we put a big one in yesterday, bit of a quick update, Penn and I shot back to help Ronnie out, he had gone out on another tour, broken a front tail shaft and his rear diff lock started playing up, got back there, we uh, Gave him a hand, we got that one going. Well, actually, no, we didn't get that car going. We worked on that car, found that the rear diff center had pretty much munted itself. Yeah, the importance of locking your diff lockers in when you pull an axle out. If you don't do it, this comes out and will float around in the bottom of your housing. That's what's done all the damage. Uh, just down here, you can see on the teeth here, all the damage it's done. Not healthy. The glitter. That's diff bearings. Bit of crown wheel, bit of housing, bit of everything in there. Just ordered up a new, uh, new diff centre from Ronnie. Come and bring it over from Dale. We'll, uh, we can rebuild this one. We might even take this home for Ronnie and uh, we'll be back to the east coast. We've got the one that Pen broke a couple of years ago, still got sitting on the shelf. And this one of Ronnie's, which hasn't died yet. Diflock died, but that's all. We might take him back over the East Coast, rebuild it for him, then send it back and he'll have a spare for when he comes over and uh, for the next season. But that yeah. there, my friend, is all the bigger pieces of yeah. what's come out. Most likely front bearing, because the pinion started leaking the oil and that's where we started working yeah. out something wasn't right. Ripped that out. Uh, some wheel bearings had failed again. We sorted out why that was happening. Got the umbi up and running. Got its tail shaft out of one back into the other. So, long story short, yeah, there was a bit of work to be done over the last five days. Ad stayed here on the banks of the Drysdale. Got up this morning to see that it is ready to cross. Pen, she'll surface soon. We've got a bit of a plan we've got to work out of getting across but the boulders we've been talking about the whole time are finally out of the water so today looks like it's going to be the day uh it's getting very exciting around here i'm up just before just after sunrise which is not my style ronnie's up over there ads is even up which really isn't his style either um but today looks like the day we're finally going to get across this drysdale river we've been like i said 24 days now i think it is we've had some excitement in along the way and definitely definitely checked out this area which is awesome i actually thoroughly enjoyed the idea of spending 24 days on a river bank probably scared me in the past but we had some funny today is going to get across that side of the river and uh king george look out We've pushed this long and this hard trying to get across to your baby. We're coming for those falls. I'm trying to get you in the shot, Ronnie. <laughs> 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 We've got Brewster. The sun's in the right spot. Uncle here Ads are. here. Yep. yep. We've got the coffee going. It's a bit early for the last couple of weeks anyway. We're getting up early, so. Got the little Bellman cappuccino and. Uh, Making a few lattes and cappuccinos for everyone, for the whole crew. We'll uh, start the magic shortly. Got a cup for the boss, mate. Whatever day it is. Day 24 I worked out on the 
the dries down? Mm. Day 20, yeah, three weeks. Yeah. Dad says, me, me coffee. You want to cheat Get me going. No, I'm right, thanks, Ruth. I need a bit of choke this morning to start, I reckon. Help you, Az. Final preparations to cross. I'll be on the quad bike mainly because I'm lighter. CJ be driving the car. Got a line up there, ads and Kerr ready to go. And in front, we've got Ronnie, he's first up this morning. So we've been waiting three weeks to do this. A very exciting morning. I wasn't recording, did BJ's trick. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what are you thinking? Well, the plan of attack this morning, I know there's a couple of nice deep um, little uh, T5 30 wheel grabbers in there. Mm. So I'm going to go from here directly, just a bit right of the boulders, then hook back left, and then at the end there, hook it back right, and hopefully we should avoid the holes. Bit of zigging and zagging. Yeah, a bit of zigging and zag this morning. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. It definitely looks better. Now than it did, what two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's no. way more raging and high, so yeah. much more doable. Yeah, today. yeah. <laughs> much more sun. Yeah, yeah. Sight many camp this morning. Yeah, finally crossing over. Finally crossing over. We're doing yeah. it today. We're doing it today. See, we're lined up. Those boulders are what I've been waiting for for the last what? What did we just say? Month. month? <laughs> Those three boulders you can see there, there is a fourth one there and there's a fifth one on the far side. Oh, far side, you can see it there. Just work out where he is. But we wanted to see those. All the locals up here, Lancho's dad, Frenchy, all yep. said don't cross till you see the boulder. So we've got that now and we're ready to... Cross over. Are you excited? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, but are you excited about crossing too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally get on the other side. Hell yeah. Yeah. Now, time you first pass has left my land. <laughs> yeah, it's <that's> it. <laughs> been my home for three weeks now. <laughs> yeah. Let's cross this thing. I've right. enjoyed it, but I've loved living here yeah. and coming back. Yeah, hell yeah. Three weeks on the dryers, Dale. We've seen the change. Yeah. yeah. i got a house coming in soon. <laughs> My up, land. Just up here. <laughs> Where the sandy beach I have. Those are coming in to put in the tracks. Yeah. Make a highway out of it. Yeah, bring a make yeah, yeah. 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 paper. I want all concrete here next time I come, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. All good. Let's rock it. Yep. He's going to drive it. Yep. Good to go. Who's driving and who's riding? Uh, I'm riding. Kerr's riding. Kerr's going to be the... Kerr's going to be the float. <laughs> Lucky I got these babies. <laughs> PG, Kerr, PG. <laughs> yep, I'm floating too. Yeah. CJ's driving. I've got a... Uh, in front there. Stuff, right? Right on the go. Water in the river has slowed down a lot and it's dropped a lot. There's a couple of deep holes that we're going to keep an eye out for along the way, but yeah. Ready to get into it. Wow. So who's the guinea pig today? As usual, me. Always the first. So, yeah, see how we go. You see me fall in the hole? Don't follow me. Now what hasn't been mentioned yet is that Ronnie, BJ and myself are all a bit under the weather at the moment. How sick the boys are really didn't manifest itself until a little later on though. But Ronnie had given his word that he would bring replacement tyres and a ute load of fuel out for the boys coming up from the south end of the Umbi track. Rain, hail or shine, he was going to keep his word on this. Although he was in a world of pain, he was coming through with the goods like the champion that he is. Caught a boat sail, took off like a hurricane With spotless dogs, hit the whole nine yards of breathing down my neck and breathing hard <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> Okay, we just watched Ronnie go across I'm going to try a slightly different line I'll just play it by ear, this one He goes nothing, <gasps> you right, Whitey? Okay Okay 
I get a coffee this morning, gonna need it. It's a bit lumpy, this crossing looking at Ronnie. <laughs> Wide enough, we like to beep it. Wide enough, the pen doesn't end up in those holes. Just missing those rocks. 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 She seems to be doing alright. A little bit of puckering. <laughs> Slippery old rocks this morning. <laughs> I can see it bouncing behind me there, it's just not coming. <laughs> Close to the rocks, yeah. yeah I, I saw yeah. that. I was trying to swing wide and it got deeper on you. And <laughs> My hands are like still shaking. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's very lumpy. Ads can take a bit more confidence after watching us, but it's still a hell of an adrenaline rush to commit to a crossing like this. Even with 35 inch tyres and portals, this is still a serious crossing. underwater and all my seat was wet and I'm like I can't stand up because I need all the weight to steer this. Well done. Mate. Hold there, mate. Yeah. <laughs> wow, right. Yeah. That went down. Very, very wet. Very wet. <laughs> that was always gonna happen. Alright. It was one hell of a ride. I just checked the car to make sure that we didn't get any water in. It's usually around here in the door seals that you'll see it but appears to be dry but the quad bike we have never had so much water in it. She lived. She lived. <laughs> About 10 litres of water just came out of the uh, uh, Fiscus drive belt, well, the drive belt that's what they're called and we um, got no drive when that fills up. That's why we're not riding them across because the drive belt has a cooler. It sucks air in, keeps it all cool but we've got to tape that up otherwise it fills up with water and you've got no drive once it fills up with water. Throw the bung back in and we're going. <laughs> we're off. Sorry ladies, I've just hit uh, traffic jam peak hour. <laughs> One time peak hour. Got some good bikes in front of you. Yeah, got some quaddies out there doing what they do best. Absolute <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's gold, had the camera rolling for that too. <laughs> Got that Umbi Express in front, Ads is driving that at the moment, and Ronnie is out on the quad bike out the front there, scouting out the track, showing us where to go. Makes it a hell of a lot easier having the quad bikes out in front. And Ronnie's going to soar back too and be able to stand up on the quad bike. That's been awesome to be able to stretch his legs. It's helping his back. So we're traveling pretty good. We've done about uh, 30 k's so far. We've been going for two, three hours. So it's pretty slow going because we're the first ones in on the track this way for this year. But um, it's nice and green for a change. So we're traveling good.
<laughs> he was trying to look cool too. <laughs> For a second you look really cool, eh? Yeah, yeah, right up until I lost this. <laughs> the old mother. Right, oh. Try again. Try again. I'll take off nice and slow this time. On the top end of the Umbi track. I've got the oven cranking in the back there. I've got some little puffy dogs, some little like sausage rolls. They did get a bit smoky before. I wonder why my eyes were water. It's like a smokehouse in here. Beautiful day outside. It's pleasant. Everyone's traveling well. Vehicles are going great. We've got about 100 k's to get to where we want to today. We've still got a fair way to go. We've probably got about 70 k's to go. So, yep, all good so far. She's got a beefy sound to her. Improvements, track improvements, Brian. We like to recycle, don't we, Ed? We're recycling, we've uh, modified the quad just to uh, take that. Yep. It's working quite well, I, I dig the look. All right, check out that note. All of a sudden, she's like a thousand cc. <laughs> Brilliant. Track finds. It's a tough day on the track when you lose your smokestack. Radiators on the quads, the grass seeds been pretty hectic. Are you enjoying any of the music? <laughs> I'm enjoying the music. It's random, that's all, buddy. Yeah, it's just random. Just random. Yeah. Good. <laughs> all good. You got yours on temperature so you can see it, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Ready, kids? There's always one clown. Now I've got two of them. Another kilometre or so up the track, Ronnie caught up with the boys who was bringing the fuel and tyres out for him. His health was deteriorating quickly, so he called off travelling any further himself and returned with the other crew to seek medical advice. This meant BJ, myself, Ads and Kerr would be pushing on without our good mate and guide, but still determined to reach our goal of making a road to King George Falls. What do you reckon that moment was called? That would have been a hairy moment. That's a that's right that's, 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 oh, my tyre sliding. With, yeah, some treads here and someone's literally gone off the edge. The only thing that saves them is this rock here. We've just built in all these other rocks here to try and get our cars through. So we're going to have to hang high side. Yeah. But we've got a few more little bits in front of me. That's not too bad. Try to drive up that ground. <laughs> Cameraman Dan. <laughs> Cameraman Gordon. And then kicking rocks. Um, that should be alright. Should be able to crawl up that one. There, yeah, I think so. Road building at its finest. So, so we've done this part before and it's a bit hairy, had the camper trail on towing last time. And we're going up this time, which is something different, normally coming down. But it's not too bad this year. As you come past, unless you go up high. Sloppy both sides, really. This stuff down here is slop. I think I'd rather stick to this side. Yeah. You can build that up a bit, I suppose. Got a picture of sexiness. Oh, there's Kerr coming up behind us.
that looks super easy. Now throw in a little bit of rear diff lock. And crawl on up. She went up easy on the quad. I got replicated on the cruiser. Not quite as nimble. smell the petrol. You can smell the petrol coming out on the roof, the angle. The, uh, got a little fountain happening back there, it's running down the back window. Now somebody has done a real number on this fella. The blue paint. I bet you I know which car that was. There's only one with blue paint on it we just passed. Yeah, the range was 35 and 33. Yep, that's the one. Oh, that is a big one. It's come around this side, they've hit it there, they've dragged it along and they've... Uh, Where'd it come from? I don't think they've been dragging for a while. I can't see where it actually came from. Yeah. Certainly wasn't sitting there, but you probably would miss that. Yeah, yeah. Nice driving, bro. Yeah. Had a little stall. Take the two feet up. Oh, it's good. It's not just that side, it's a nice little blue texture. Have a look down, right down. Oh, Sorry, over here, it's under here. Yikes! Must be passenger side, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Someone's left some paintwork behind. Yeah. Pretty good idea who it is. <laughs> so we're on, we've taken the turn off. Uh, quad bikes are in front, so this is where we're retracing our steps from last trip. Uh, we're about 20 k shy of actually getting to our jump off point to where we're going, going to go proper cross country, but you can see up in front of us it is pretty much cross country already. We'll follow the quads in and uh, hopefully about 20 k from here we'll have our jump point for King George Falls that we're trying to get back to. So if you go back to series nine, this is where Ronnie staked the fuel line on our last attempt to get into here. So we got a little bit further up here and then he realized it was bleeding out. But this time around, we got heaps of fuel, two quads, two cruisers. We're gonna have another crack. Ronnie's had to peel off, he's hurt his back. He can barely drive or walk, uh, which is a bit of a blow, but he said, bro, go and make this track happen. So, mission, game on. Changing over? Yeah. Right. You're better at slipping out of track than me. <laughs> BJ doesn't want me pink goggles. Who are these guys? Hey. I've hopped off the quad because the track's getting a bit hard to find. And BJ is actually really good at finding a track. So, I'll let him do his thing while I get rid of. This spear grass, see that? It's nasty stuff, got a bit in my eye before, hopefully it's come out alright. But also got a head cold. Back in the cruiser as well, okay? Yeah. 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 Oh, thanks mate, good to be on board. It's a bit of fun on the quad bikes, but BJ's better at looking for a track than me, so I'll let him do his thing. Yeah, fair enough. 
<laughs> Fuel tankers. mentioned here that Kerr is driving the second Land Cruiser and she should inspire anyone watching this who would feel that four-wheel driving this country is beyond their ability. Although she's been a brilliant navigator for ads for many years, the amount of time she's actually had in the driver's seat would be best described as minimal. But my hat's off to her for stepping up as part of the team to make this expedition happen. To drive not only this section but the entire length of the Umbi track so that we could bring two quad bikes with us on this journey. You're amazing, Kurt. Doesn't look like a track, but there is one there. You look through the tree line and you usually see a clearing between the trees where they've been bulldozed decades ago. The boys are doing it tough out in front there. The steer grass is getting pretty thick. Pretty uncomfortable, but all part of the adventure. Like little needles, heroes. Boys just cleaning out the radiators in the quad bike. She had to watch the temperature here that they don't get too hot with spear grass going into. Aha, I knew there was one under there somewhere. Drink it all, drink it all. Potty's water. God damn it's having these quads. It's the boys setting up our campsite for us. They're doing some quad bike mowing. This is gonna be our base camp, our jump off point for the next leg of the journey to get into King George Falls. So I want to have a nice spot to have a base camp. The grass isn't too bad. Yay! Camp for the night. The road wasn't too bad, but me and Kerr, we just come through. Cold bikes went all right, but that, that short, real green grass is a sign for boggy sections so you can't stick in the same track as another vehicle you've got to pick another line otherwise you go down and yeah Kurt did really well behind me <laughs> getting pretty boggy good job Kurt. <laughs> no no oh it's good 
Get no, because I had the back end going, and I'm like, holy crap. So I quickly snatched another gear because I'm like, man, I'm going to go down if I stop. Yeah. Like just, and you, you can't pick it. Like it's just, mm. so I jumped out of Penzo's tracks to take my own tracks and it was a bit better. So it must be that soil that once you break the crust, do you know what I mean? Yep. The water comes up. Yeah, good lesson there and that stuff. Don't yeah, yeah. follow other tracks. Don't follow other tracks, yeah. But here's camp, baby. Yeah, awesome. As the crow flies, we are now only 12 kilometres from the falls. But as you will see next time, this country isn't giving them up easily. Subscribe to get your next notification.